What is up, everybody? It's your boy Herf here, back on the Duel Links Entertainment channel. And today, we just got a brand new event, Shark Attacks Numbers Appear. So, in this event, let me show the announcement here. In this event, we're going to get a new, uh, we're going to get a new duelist, um, the Shark Man, as well as Number 17, Leviathan Dragon, and Shark Stickers. So, let's hop right into the cards. Let's get in there. Alright, so, we're going to get a character. So, already, it's a must-play event. I mean, you need, you need characters, A, in case they have skills, and B, they're the best source of gems in the game. So, obviously, you want this guy. So, let's start at the bottom with the new cards. These are all reprints, all pretty bad reprints at that, but that's okay if the other cards are good. All right, uh, shark stickers. When a fish, sea serpent, or aqua type monster is normal or special summon to your side of the field, you can special summon this card from your hand. Uh, pretty good. I mean, it's it's good like generic XCs support. So like if Let's say, I'm just thinking, like, if I had Hammerhead Shark, right? Normal hammer, Hammerhead Shark, special summon this from my hand, special summon something else from my hand with the effect of Hammerhead. I mean, that's that's a lot of materials to the board pretty quickly. Um, it, it, we'll see if it becomes good or not, but it definitely has some potential. Like, it's not a bad card right off the bat. All right, so... What's the next card? All right. Leviathan Dragon. So it's two level three monsters, and once per turn, you can detach one Xyz material from this card, and this card gains 500 attack. If this card has no Xyz material, you can attack your opponent. It cannot attack your opponent directly. Overall, pretty decent, right? So that's a 2,500 beater for two level threes. Not bad. It becomes 3K, but then it can't attack directly. Um, I mean, you could negate its effects with something like Chalice, and then have be able to do like 3,800 to the face. But as of right now, it's an okay option. I mean, it's definitely not going to be the best card ever. It's not. I don't think it's the best rank three in the game. But it's always good to get these generic um, Xyz options uh, for later, especially. Um, and then we have number 32. Shark Drake. Once per turn, when this attacking card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can detach one Xyz material from this card. Special summon the destroyed monster from your opponent's to your opponent's side of the field in attack position. Also, it loses a thousand attack, and if you do summon this way, this card can make a second attack during this battle phase. Okay, so that's a lot. But basically what's going on here is if you swing in and obviously you have to destroy the monster, um, you can detach a material and you get to special summon that destroyed monster back to your opponent's side of the field with a thousand less attack, which is pretty good. And if, and if you do, you get to make another attack. So, I mean, this is a pretty good OTK option. However, it's a big investment, three level fours. That's the only thing I would say holding this back at all. However, it is a really good card, so maybe it'll be worth it. Um, it's just really, it's difficult to say whether or not you're going to want to sink that much investment. Because like, if you think about it, three level fours is the same cost as like Obelisk, right? Except this is a generic summoning, obviously, and it's not quite the same, but... If I'm going to invest all of my monsters into something, I better be getting something like Obelisk level. You know what I'm saying? Because they're a similar cost. But I like all of my monsters should be going towards winning the game. You know, and if they're not, why am I doing this? And this has that potential. But it's just like Yeah, you get a big twenty eight hundred beater, but so what? Like, lo like rank uh, two material Xyz cards, in my opinion, 
are just better in almost every single way. Because it's only like it's obviously I don't want to say it's just too cost, but you need you need so much less materials from your hand unless you can get them from the deck, right? That's like the big exception. Like wind ups are not good in dual links, obviously, but they have a better way of getting their materials from the deck than we do for rank fours. Right? I don't think you're gonna be playing this card with magnets. Um, and we don't have any other deck really that can spam rank fours from the deck. So this is going to be an inherently slow card to get out. And if you have all of this all of that card advantage anyways, you're probably going to have an alternative win condition. So like I said, this is a really good card that you need to get, but it's just not good based on the summoning mechanics that we have for Xyz right now. That's how I would uh, evaluate this card. Now, I'd love to be proven wrong, but that's my evaluation right now. So number 17, uh, Leviathan Dragon is a pretty pretty good card you should get. Shark Stickers has a lot of potential. This is a really good card and for future Obviously, we have a uh, a character, so you need to get the character. He's just really, really good. Um, so, a duelist with skills such as Monarch of the Deep Sea number 32 that lets you add number 32 Shark Drake from, to your extra deck at the beginning of the duel, and Magic Combo that lets you play face down Aqua Jet from your deck the turn you have normal summoned Big Jaws. Aqua Jet. What is Aqua Jet? Uh, it's target one face up fish, sea serpent, or aqua type monster. It gains a thousand. Okay. Okay. Sick meme. Uh, so basically, you just get a thousand attack boost. But. Let's see here. So the skill said when you normal summon what? Let's see. You have to normal summon Big Jaws. What is Big Jaws? I'm guessing that's just like some vanilla shark monster. Dude, wait, we don't... I'm so confused how... I'm, it must be in his un character unlocks. Because I can't find it. But... Yeah, so, I mean, and the gem, like, if you look through this, the gems are, like, pretty decent. I mean, they're not, like, fantastic or anything, but they're definitely not bad. And the, the mat, the mat is actually really not bad. I like this mat a lot. But other than that, I think that's just about it. Ultimately, one of the better PvE events we've gotten in a long, long time, in my opinion. All of the new cards we're getting are very usable and i could see a purpose for them in the in like the meta game as well as we're getting a character so this is 100 percent a must play event for all people looking to play the game with any kind of i don't know you know what i hope that makes sense but essentially this is a very good event and get in there farm it up thank you very much but That'll be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when we upload. Check out our Twitch who hosts tournaments all the time. Like, There's so much good content coming out of there to learn uh, about from the best players in the meta about the meta. It's amazing. Matchups, awesome. Get in our Discord for the new player help, and that's actually how you enter the tournaments. Uh, they're $10 prize, free tournaments almost every single day. They're bigger prize if we hit um, different goals in terms of subs and such. However, ultimately, get in the Discord. You have nothing to lose. You get you get help. You get free practice. It's all of it's just amazing. So thank you very much. Thanks for checking out the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.